Welcome to Bitfumes and now it's time to deploy the Laravel Horizon on a Ubuntu server. So I will go on DigitalOcean and I will create a simple Ubuntu server with the latest Ubuntu. And if you want to get started with the DigitalOcean, you can get a referral link in the description with which you can get $100 for 60 days as the promotion for now. Maybe it, will, it can change later. So let's get started and get the lowest one just for demonstration and giving that okay and get the ssh key and name it to, to horizon simple so let's create a droplet and now droplet is created so copy this uh, ip address and i will open the terminal with this let's make it big cool so i will say ssh root at the rate IP address so say yes and now I will simply say sudo apt get update so apt get is updated and now I'm going to install various things so first thing I'm going to install is nginx so after that we also need to have PHP FPM because we are using PHP and nginx so we, we need php fpm then we need php mysql also then we also need mysql server okay and giving a y flag so it's not going to confirm anything so let's just hit enter to install all these things so first thing we need to say apt get install and then all these things next we need to install composer so sudo apt get install composer then zip and also unzip giving a y flag to install all these things so this is going to install and we have this uh, a simple application which we have used in the last episode on the introduction to horizon and again you will get the link in the description so let's use that and i'm going to go inside cd var www and html so inside that i'm going to get that so firstly I, instead of this i will use the http version and some now i need to say git clone and horizon laravel horizon demo cool so now it is cloned this means now if i go to cd horizon actually laravel horizon demo and then list out everything is there so composer install and now composer install saying you don't have some of the extension of php like x ext dom ext dom it is actually simple uh, 7.3 xml so we just need to install this one and now it is installed so once again we'll run the composer install command and now it is installing now it is done so what we need to do we need to simply create a .env file and i will copy everything from our local because it's just a demonstration so because we are using predis here and redis as the queue connection we need to install redis also so after creating this .env file we need to simply say sudo apt get install redis and with a y flag so now it is installing redis finally so while this is installing i will open a new tab and go inside the server once more and then i will say cd etc nginx then sites available and then with a vim i'm open default one and now i can simply point out the root to html slash laravel horizon demo slash public and also i need to add it to here index then index.php then comes a simple thing which is like these things php so first we need to remove this one then this one this one and this one okay so once again let's do one more thing we need to remove this var from here 
also because we are using php 7.3 so make it 3 and here on this part we need to remove everything from here and we need to add one thing we need to go to the deployment section of laravel and then copy this part and let's just paste it okay so we have done everything and one more here we also need to correct this index so it is actually index.php and then with a the space okay so it is done then sudo nginx hyphen t everything is fine then sudo systemctl then restart nginx and which is also fine this means now we can simply go to this ip address and we should see our laravel and yes it is laravel which is giving permission denied that's cool no problem so to solve that we need to run a simple command for that we need to go to the laravel and then run this command okay this means now it is going to work but it doesn't have mysql so we also have mysql with root and password which is empty okay so let's create database called horizon and like this so now we have a horizon database so let's exit from mysql and then open vim.env and giving the connection horizon so horizon like this the password is empty let's try this one is it going to work hmm still it's not going to work if you are facing this kind of problem with mysql what you need to do you need to go inside the mysql just like this without any password and then you need to run this command which is something like this okay so now you can see this root is not having any password hashing is auth socket which we don't want so what we need to do for that we need to alter the user table okay so alter user and flash privileges so this is the password current root password and now we can simply exit from mysql and if i once more try with empty password it's not going to work because password is now changed to uh, current root password cool so once again exit open vim giving the password and go out of that php artisan migrate and now it is migrated this means it is going to work yay that's great and this is going to work this means if i say php artisan horizon it is also going to work this means if i now go to slash horizon it is going to work yeah you can see we are having horizon on our ubuntu server that means this is great thing but we don't always want this horizon to work what we are going to do for that for that what we need to do we need to install it so we need to install supervisor so let's copy supervisor and i will quit from here install supervisor and while this is installing next thing we need to do we need to create a file inside this directory okay and we will call it horizon.conf so let's go inside this directory and create a file called horizon.conf and copy these commands okay and paste it so what we are saying we want to say we need to run a command called php and then for running the artisan we need to move inside var www html then laravel horizon demo then artisan and horizon okay so it says auto start and user is root and if anything goes wrong this is going to log inside var www html and let's say inside that only so quit and save 
and then we need to run these three commands so copy these three commands paste them one by one so now it says already started so we can also say supervisor ctl restart all and now horizon stopped and horizon started this means if i go here and you can see if i refresh it is still active and we are not using php artisan horizon directly we are using php artisan horizon via this supervisor and now it's finally time to check the queue so for that i will go here and go to php artisan tinker tinker and i will create a user with a factory of user so app user class and then create and we have one user that's cool and this means now if i grab the ip address hit enter here and as soon as we done that we can see one is there and it is now processed we should see and we have this email inside our mail trap so i'm sure you got to know many things on this episode because we have actually deployed a laravel from scratch and then we have deployed a La laravel horizon and we have set up queues with the use of redis and this is not a simple task and this is not a simple tutorial it took me an hour to set up all these things and it just combined and uh, compressed into 10 to 12 minutes so if you have liked this episode please give it a thumbs up share with your friends uh, write your views about deploying laravel horizon and is it easy is it uh, tough or if you are facing any problem you can share there also you will find everything related to this episode in the description box and if i miss something please let me know on the comment section it took a lot of effort to create these videos so please support Bitfumes by going to like on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn. We will meet in the in some other videos till then. Goodbye.